Are you having issues with the glow plugs in your 7.3 Power Stroke? Come along, I'll show you what I did to fix mine. Hello, and welcome to our channel. We're, We're glad, glad you're here. here. The glow plug circuit on a 7.3 is it's relatively simple, I suppose you could say. It has a relay, the actual glow plugs that are down inside the head underneath the valve covers. You've got your oil temperature sensor. Over in the air cleaner, you've got your uh, air charge temperature sensor, the PCM, and the wiring. And the way it works is the PCM monitors the oil temperature and the air temperature, and based on those values, it will turn the glow plugs on for a specified time. Um, I've heard they'll stay on up to two minutes, regardless of what your uh, wait to start light does. So I know some people will cycle their key when the wait light turns off to you know recycle the glow heaters but um, supposedly they will just stay on for up to two minutes based on the temperature. Now the problem I was having was obviously they weren't working at all. It started out with the relay. This relay is definitely bad. This is the original relay. I'll explain more of that in a few minutes. Uh, I've got a different relay in there now. That's an aftermarket. It's supposed to be a higher amperage relay. We'll see how it lasts. The way you want to test these, I'll show on the old relay, makes it easier since it's out here. You've got two big posts and two small posts. One big post will have battery power to it. The other big post goes to the glow plugs. You have a 12 volt when the key is on coming into one of the small pins. And then the other small pin will ground through the PCM when it wants to turn these on. So the first check you want to do is you find your big pin that goes to the battery and you should have power there with the key off, which we do. Now I got my test light hooked to the negative post of the battery. This large wire here that feeds the glow plug relay is fed by these two fusible links over on the starter solenoid. So if you don't have power there, you're going to want to pull on these fusible links and see if they might be burnt. But we've passed the first test. We have power at that pin. So now I'll go turn the key on and we'll do uh, a little more testing. Okay, once the key is on, we should still have power at the big pin, which we do. We should also have 12 volts now at the small pin, which we do. It usually shows 12 volts at the other pin. Sorry about the sunlight here, which we do. And if this was working properly, we would have 12 volts at the other big pin, which we do not. So that, uh, with having 12 volts on both of the small pins, that tells you that the PCM is not grounding the relay. So either the PCM is not working or it's not calling for the glow heaters or glow plugs because it is not needed. And what I did, this is how I found that the uh, other relay was bad. I put a jumper wire down on the ground side, on the PCM side and grounded it to ground. And you can probably hear the relay kicking in and out. So that shows me that this relay is good. The other relay would not do that. We now have power on the other side, which means we have 12 volts going down to our glow plugs. So until I got this fixed, that was my sort of repair. I uh, left this clipped to my uh, dipstick tube where it's plastic. And then if it was too cold for the truck to start, I would just take this off, hook it right there, which turned the relay on, which gave me glow heaters. So. Like I said earlier, the, uh, the circuit runs by the PCM looking at 
the oil temperature and the air temperature and then turning the relay on. And as you can see with the key on, I do not have ground over here on the uh, PCM side. So the problem I was having was my PCM is bad. Only in that circuit because the truck runs fine otherwise. Normally what you'll get is power on the power side, ground on the PCM side, power on your big pin, but still no power over here with the relay pulled in. Um, the way these relays work, there's a large copper disc in there and the bottom of these pins stick toward that disc. When the relay engages, that copper disc comes up against these two pins and creates your, your circuit path. Over time, with the uh, arcing, you'll lose surface on that copper disc and even though the disc is engaged to the pins, there's not enough surface there to uh, allow it to uh, pass the electricity through. So you'll have a relay that's working up and down, but you won't be getting uh, current pass between these two pins. That's when you just change your relay. Like I said, I tried that because my relay would not pull in, and that didn't help me because the PCM was my issue. I could replace the PCM, but that's uh, maybe $500 or so is what I was looking at. And I don't see the need in doing that just for the glow heater circuit. So what I did, as you can see this purple wire down here, this purple wire runs underneath the dashboard. This wire here that I've got the uh, shrink wrap on is the original PCM wire that used to hook to here. So I've shrink wrapped that to keep it from uh, causing any issues. I've ran this purple wire from the relay into the truck. Now we'll go into the truck and I'll show you what's going on in there. Now I've added this switch box. Um, right now the only one hooked up is this first one labeled G because they don't have a glow plug uh, label. Uh, eventually my plow lights, when I get the plow hooked up, will go on the second switch. These other two are probably going to be unused for a while, and these two push buttons I'm not sure if I'll ever use. But I added that. It's kind of like the newer trucks with the upfitter switches, but it's the closest thing I could come up with. So I've got this switch here, which is the glow heater circuit. Under the dash, I can't show this real well because it's tight under here. Here's our purple wire coming in from the uh, glow plug relay. It goes into this blue wire, which is switch number one. Comes back out the other blue wire. And up here, it's kind of hard to see, but I've got a relay and a timer relay. So basically what happens, when I turn the key on, because it's got to deal with the darn dinging, you should be able to see that timer maybe glow red. So right now that timer relay is on. Come over here, close the door so the dinging's not so annoying. This first switch, when that is on, that allows the ground to go out to that glow uh, plug relay. So when I turn the key on, that powers up. We've got a red light here, which means we have circuit passing through this switch going out to the glow plug relay and right now the glow plug relay is energized. If I don't need them in the summertime I can just simply turn that off or turn it back on. This timer is set up for 30 seconds so every time I cycle the key there's 30 seconds timed out I can turn the key off, turn the key back on well, now we'll have another 30 seconds on that timer for the glow plugs. So that was my workaround for not having to buy a PCM. Uh, this switch box, I think, was like maybe 40 bucks. Uh, Amazon. The uh, timer relay was only a few dollars. And I'm not sure if I can get to it or not because it's all up underneath here. This little, this little board here is what you program the uh, timer with. So if I want to change the length of time on my glow plugs, I can use these two these two push buttons here to uh, 
to change the settings on the timer. It's a, it's a pretty cool little timer, a way well, multi, kind of multi-functions and uh, on delay, off delay, cycle timer. You can use triggers on it. It's a it's pretty, pretty neat little, little relay for the price. Yeah, one other thing I really didn't show you too well out here on the relay, on the, uh, the glow plug side, you've got this big brown wire and that goes to your passenger side bank. This yellow wire is what feeds your driver side bank. And then you've got this little, little blue wire. It might be a repair job, I'm not sure. But this other wire here goes back to the PCM. Now what this wire does is when the PCM calls for this relay to be on, it wants to see 12 volts on this wire back at the PCM. That's how it knows if the, uh, if the relay is actually energizing the glow plugs like it should. So what I uh, failed to mention earlier is when I was doing the diagnostics on this, and I wasn't sure if it was the PCM or not, that if it was, if it was calling for them because of the temperature or what, whatnot, um, to the best of my knowledge, this does turn the glow plugs on every time you cycle the key maybe for a few seconds, maybe for, for a minute or two, depending on the temperature, but it does turn them on every time, no matter how warm it is. And the way I figured that out was um, I put my scanner on this and checked, and I had a glow heater circuit code. Basically what was happening was the PCM thought it was turning the glow plugs on, but since it physically can't do that, it's saying, okay, the glow plug should be on, Where's my 12 volts coming back? Which basically it probably thought the relay was bad because it wasn't getting 12 volts back where in actuality it wasn't turning the relay on. But that was uh, kind of how I diagnosed that it was a PCM issue is because the PCM was seeing the fact that it thought it had the glow plugs turned on even though they weren't on. So this, this blue wire is a feedback wire to the PCM. So that's... Uh, that's what I did to fix, like I said, fix my glow heaters. Uh, I noticed I just did it again. Um, I'm sure a couple times in this video I've called the glow plugs glow heaters. Um, I used to work for a steel mill furnace manufacturer and we had a part called a glow heater. And when you say glow heater for 16 years, Trying to say glow plug just doesn't flow off the tongue very well because you've been saying glow heater for so many years. So I apologize for, for calling these glow heaters instead of glow plugs, I'm sure several times. Um, I try and catch myself when I'm talking about the truck, but it doesn't always work because the, the muscle memory thing, uh, I'm sure some welders can probably uh, relate to that, that uh, welded old school with the old flip down hoods. They transfer into the new uh, auto darkening shades and you still go like this every time you go to strike an arc even though it's down there in front of your face just because the muscle memory you have, you do what you, uh, you, do what you know. And for me, saying glow heater is far more natural than saying glow plug. But anyway, I hope, uh, hope this helped explain the glow uh, plug circuit to you. Uh, if you have problems with yours, hopefully you can use this video to um, diagnose and maybe fix your issues. Uh, I will leave links down below to the uh, relay and the timer relay and that switch box that I bought uh, just in case you want to try to do something a little off the shelf like I did here to save yourself a couple hundred dollars in replacing a PCM that only has that one bad circuit. Uh, I saw a video one time, it may have even been uh, Diesel Tech Ron that mentioned that if you touch that PCM the wrong way, that uh, stud on the PCM side the wrong way, you can fry that little contact in the PCM. So I'm assuming in the past somebody was diagnosing this and put power to that or did whatever that you're not supposed to do and, uh, and ruined that PCM contact. Because like I said, otherwise that the truck runs fine. So spending $500 just to get your glow plugs working when I can do this little deal on on the side here we'll see how it works so thanks for watching please subscribe thumbs up if you appreciate it click that bell if you want to be notified when we uh, do more videos any questions or comments please put them down below thanks for watching have a good day